there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the new song from Ed Sheeran called Curtains from the new album, which is great. Um, I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I do read every comment, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking of the new album, let me know what songs I should do from it as well, uh, if there's any songs on there you want to learn how to play on the guitar. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Okay, so the intro of the song sounds like this. So we've got a D major seven. I'm just putting my first finger flat across the E, B and G strings at the second fret, squishing them all down. But you might prefer to use three different fingers. So put your first finger on G2, second finger on B2, and third finger E2. Either way, it's fine to play it. Then the next chord after the D major seven is an A chord, which is your first finger D2, second finger G2, third finger on B2. So it might be easier for you just to use three fingers and then just move them all up on the string. Uh, then the next chord is F sharp minor seven. And again, a couple of ways of playing this. I like to use my second finger on E2 and my third finger flat across to D2, G2 and B2. So it's all in a row, we just mute off the A string. Um, but you could play it by using the A, A chord that we had before and just putting your thumb over the top playing the F sharp on E2, or you could use four fingers. Whichever way you find easiest is fine. The next chord is an E chord, which is your first finger on G1, second finger on A2, third finger on D2. Hitting all the strings. It then goes back to D major seven, then A, and then in bar four, we've got a B5 chord, which is your first finger, A2, third finger, D4, and little finger on G4. And only play those three strings, A, D, and G strings. And that lasts for four beats. All the others last for two beats. So you've got D major seven, A, F sharp minor seven, E, then D major seven, A, and then B5. So each one lasts for two beats. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That then repeats, so you play that line twice. So that's the introduction. Then we get the verse. Sounds like this. So to play that, the first chord we've got is an F sharp uh, power chord or F sharp five. First finger, A9. Third finger, D11. Little finger on G11. And it's gonna use this same shape all throughout it. So you've got the F sharp. I'm gonna go down, down, up. With the pick. Then we're gonna go down to C sharp. Same shape, but your first finger's on A4, third and fourth finger's on fret six on the D and the G strings. And we're gonna go up, down, down. So slowly the first bar goes. Into the next bar, and we're gonna play that C sharp again with a downstroke, and then slide up a fret. So go from A4 up to A5, same shape. And then two hits on it, going down, down, so go. And then one more hit on it. And then go up two frets to E5, first finger A7, third finger D9, little finger on G9, and just three downs on it. So bar six slowly goes. So the first two bars of that verse, bars five and six, slowly go. And 
up speed. One, two, three, four. And that repeats around eight times in the verse. And then after the eight times, we just go to a B power chord and hit it four times, and then there's a bar of rest in bar eight. So it goes one, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. Which takes us to the chorus. Now the chorus is the same chords as the intro, <coughs> but I'm just gonna play uh, crotchets throughout. So playing on every beat. So two hits on the D major seven, all down strokes. Two hits on the A, two hits on the F sharp minor, two hits on the E, two hits on the D major seven, two hits on the A chord, and then four hits on that B5. So it sounds like this. And that repeats round four times. Um, and then it still feels like the chorus. It's where he's singing, let me see the sunshine. It changes to this. So for that, A power chord, open A with D2 and G2. Four hits, playing quavers. Then B5, four hits, C sharp. Then D, which is on the fifth fret. So A5, D7, and G7. So you just get this. So that's over where he's singing, let me see the sunshine. Uh, and that repeats around three times. And there's a little lead guitar part, which um, goes at the end of the chorus, but it also goes at the end of the song as well. It plays it twice through at the end of the song, but only plays once through at the end of the chorus. So you get this, rest. Okay, so let's play that. G11, another G11, then G9. D11, and then another D11. So the first bar starts with the rest, goes rest. Into the next bar, a little hammer on from D9 to D11, then G9, and a quick slide from D11 to D9. So you don't really hear the 11, it's just sliding quickly down to the nine, and then play a D7, D9 slides back up to D11. You do hear both of those notes though. And then play G9, D11, D9, then A12. Uh, and then just to finish off the next bar, there's only two notes. Slide up from D9 to D11. So bar 16 and 17 go. Okay, so the whole line slowly goes, rest. Up speed, one, two, three, four, rest. Okay, uh, and like I say, that just repeats twice um, in the outro as well. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications as well, um, so you can hear when my new videos come out. And I do love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know what you think of the new album. Let me know what your favorite song off the new album is. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this, I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.